Imagine this, a treasure trove of sensitive data from one of the world's most renowned newspapers sprawled across the shadowy corners of the internet. This isn't the plot of a spy thriller, it's the stark reality of a massive data breach that has sent shockwaves through the media landscape. The New York Times, a bastion of journalism and a trusted source of information, found itself at the center of a cybersecurity nightmare when hackers infiltrated its systems, making off with a trove of internal data. The attack, audacious in its scope and execution, has raised serious questions about the vulnerability of even the most secure organizations in the digital age. It serves as a stark reminder that in our hyper-connected world, no one is immune to the threat of cybercrime. The breach has sent ripples of concern throughout the industry, prompting news organizations and businesses alike to reevaluate their security protocols and brace themselves for a new era of digital warfare. The details of the breach are still emerging, but early reports paint a grim picture. Hackers, believed to be affiliated with the notorious online forum 4chan, gained unauthorized access to sensitive internal documents, including financial records, employee information, and unpublished news stories. The method of attack is still under investigation, but experts believe it involved a sophisticated phishing campaign where unsuspecting employees were tricked into clicking on malicious links, unknowingly granting the hackers a backdoor into the newspaper's systems. The New York Times breach is not an isolated incident. It's a stark reminder that cybercrime is a growing threat, targeting organizations of all sizes and industries. From multinational corporations to government agencies, no one is immune. As we become increasingly reliant on digital technologies, so too do we become more vulnerable to those who seek to exploit them for malicious purposes. This incident underscores the urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures, not just for news organizations but for any entity that handles sensitive information. The digital underworld is a labyrinth of shadowy forums and anonymous actors, each with their own motives and agendas. Among them, 4chan stands out as a breeding ground for internet subcultures. Notorious for its unfiltered content and association with various cyber attacks, often described as the Wild West of the internet, 4chan has been linked to numerous high-profile hacks and online pranks, making it a prime suspect in the New York Times data breach. The forum's decentralized nature and lack of moderation make it a haven for hackers and online mischief makers to operate with relative anonymity. Users, hidden behind pseudonyms and avatars, exchange information freely, sharing hacking tools, vulnerabilities, and even orchestrating coordinated attacks. It's within this digital underbelly that the seeds of the New York Times breach were likely sown, with hackers potentially using the platform to recruit accomplices, share stolen data, and even boast about their exploits. While the exact details of the hackers' motivations remain unclear, their choice of 4chan as a platform for leaking the stolen data speaks volumes. It suggests a desire to cause disruption, sow chaos, and undermine trust in one of the world's most respected news organizations. By releasing sensitive information into the wilds of the internet, they aim to damage the New York Times' reputation, expose internal conflicts, and potentially influence public opinion. The breach highlights the evolving nature of cyber threats. No longer confined to lone wolves seeking financial gain, cyber attacks are increasingly motivated by political agendas, hacktivism, or simply the thrill of wreaking havoc. The 4chan connection underscores the need for law enforcement agencies and cybersecurity experts to adapt their strategies, venturing into the darkest corners of the internet to track down perpetrators and understand the motivations behind these attacks. The immediate aftermath of a data breach is a chaotic scramble for answers. For the New York Times, the priority was twofold contain the damage, and reassure the public. The newspaper moved quickly to secure its systems, launch an internal investigation, and notify affected individuals. However, the road to recovery from a cyber attack is long and arduous, fraught with legal ramifications, financial losses, and a tarnished reputation. The stolen data, now in the hands of malicious actors, poses a significant threat. Employee information could be used for identity theft, financial records could be exploited for fraud, and unpublished news stories could be leaked to manipulate public opinion. The breach also undermines the trust that readers place in the New York Times to protect their sources and report information responsibly. Rebuilding that trust will require transparency, accountability, and a demonstrable commitment to strengthening cybersecurity measures. The financial implications of the breach are equally significant. 
the New York Times faces potential lawsuits, regulatory fines, and the costs associated with investigating and mitigating the damage. Moreover, the reputational damage could lead to a loss of subscribers, advertisers, and a decline in readership, impacting the newspaper's bottom line for years to come. The New York Times breach serves as a cautionary tale for organizations of all sizes. It underscores the importance of proactive cybersecurity measures, employee training, and a comprehensive incident response plan. In the digital age, data is the lifeblood of many businesses and protecting it should be a top priority. The New York Times breach serves as a cautionary tale for organizations of all sizes. It underscores the importance of proactive cybersecurity measures, employee training, and a comprehensive incident response plan. In the digital age, data is the lifeblood of many businesses and protecting it should be a top priority. In the digital age, data is the lifeblood of many businesses and protecting it should be a top priority. In the digital age, data is the lifeblood of many businesses and protecting it should be a top priority.